We are examining arm bars and triangles from guard in both the USC and We Love and May. Submission attempts from guard are pretty infrequent and for good reason. This is part one where we'll look at arm bar setups from guard. First, the most basic form of the arm bar with Federico Gutzvilla. His opponent holds onto a collar die, something that will come up quite a bit in the upcoming examples. Federico takes the opportunity to get a strong underhook and frame across the face. He then transitions to a high guard, which traps the far shoulder. Another theme that will crop up is attempting to stand up out of the submission. This is generally a bad idea because it leaves the end of the lever, the hand or the wrist, behind and it can offer the opponent more space to extend their hips into. In this case, the opponent tries to come down with the knee across the face and Federico brings the far leg over to complete the isolation. His opponent then comes back up and Federico, with all that space behind him, extends and extends and extends until the ref gets their poor elbow. Now let's take a recent example in the UFC. In his match against Mike Perry, Donald Cerrone was an underdog but really went after the finish even in his normally slow first round. Starting from a failed back take, Cerrone lands in guard. He's controlling the wrist here and immediately shoots for the triangle. He gets to a loose triangle, but Perry is wise to it, stacks, and gets his other arm in to end the attempt. Perry attempts an elbow here, but it's slow and does no damage. Cerrone then starts moving his torso perpendicular, which maybe would have been a dead giveaway to most. And as Perry attempts to punch, with the collar tie still in place, Cerrone swings the right leg over the head. As we mentioned earlier, all these fighters will attempt to stand out of the armbar. Why? They're trying to slide the fulcrum of the armbar, the pelvis, down the arm and escape. In Perry's case, He's also trying to slam out of it. Cerrone is dogged in his attempt and with a belly down position and still with the elbow aligned, extends his hips forward, thus breaking Perry's damn arm and eliciting the tap. Mirrored in some ways with Rene Runga here who gets knocked down, notes the collar tie and attacks the same side arm. As his opponent stands up and tries to climb over, Rene is able to extend into all the space behind him to get that finish. Some of my non-casual fans will remember this one, Henderson versus Pettis 2. Here's Pettis being showtimey in his title win over Ben Henderson. He lands in guard and notice the diligent wrist stuff Henderson digs for collar ties to try to control the target. Pettis unlocks his guard and stays patient. Unlocked feet allow for a bit more flexibility of the spine and neck. As Henderson hand fights and makes an opening, he shoots a left elbow and uses his right arm to collar tie and to add force to that impact. Pettis capitalizes and swivels his hips perpendicular to get into position. Henderson first drives in to stack briefly before standing in panic and Pettis finishes by extending his hips. There you have it, a few arm bars from guard and working especially well against the top man's collar tie. If you like this stuff, we have a bunch of videos on Instagram at we love MMA, and we have hundreds of free fights on welovemma.com. <laughs>